Hi, Henk Ackermans, Supply Network Dynamics Chapter 9, Quality Cascade, Clip Number 3, Customer Complaints. The um, uh, complaints can have two origins, both of them of course, from, from customers. Uh, customers may uh, decide that they wish to file a complaint because uh, of the way that they've been treated by the call center and because of the way that they've been treated by the rest of the organization, by the fact that they have a problem for which they have had to wait so long. Of course, that all depends to a long extent on those, on those rates where things go wrong. Uh, how long that they will, uh, that, that, how, long, how often they will start complaining as a result of the fact that it takes long, is a result, of course, of how much longer than that, that what they would normally expect, would expect to, to uh, the process to take has been, uh, uh, yeah, that part had, uh, how much that period has been passed. So the sum of these results in a certain uh, non-linear uh, uh, relationship that you see here. It becomes much longer than what you would normally expect. The percentage of, uh, of filing, uh, complete filing increases also. Uh, the other one is, is the effect of workload. If the workload is really high, uh, then customers, will, uh, call agents won't have enough time. Customers will have to wait lo uh, quite a long time before they actually get a call center agent and when uh, the customer when the customer gets on the phone, the the the, the agent may be tired, may not have all the uh, information. It also leads to complaints. Um, so um, um, uh, th th this can be mitigated by the fact that there is a certain uh, service level that you could expect. Mm -hmm. So if you only have five fifty percent calls coming through, then the unofficial call workload may be quite uh, a bit different. So uh, once complaints come in. Uh, they uh, become pending and they have to be resolved and it has to be done by a certain capacity sector. Uh, okay, that's complaints.